will see how to create an account in MangoDB and set up a MangoDB for Atlas cluster. Go to the Google Chrome. And here inside the Google Chrome, paste this uh, link that is MangoDB Atlas tutorial. Here there is a step by step process of uh, creating an account. Firstly, after reaching this web page, here there is an account, uh, there is a name called as a creating a MangoDB Atlas account. We have to do the registration process. So go to this uh, website. Here uh, the sign in process will be applied. For a newly registering user, we have to sign in. Uh, like uh, we have to give the first name, last name, and company. We can you can give company name as a nil, or else you can sign up with a Google. And uh, uh, as I have already have account, so I will sign in. I will sign in through Google. Click on Google. It will take some. It will take some time. Then it will go to this Atlas web page. Here uh, we have to create a cluster. We will see how we can create a cluster. Here after completing the registration process, we have to create, we have to set up a cluster in a MangoDB Atlas. So once we have a cluster, uh, once we have a MangoDB account, we will uh, see this web, this space where there is a clusters uh, in the data storage space and here there is a button called as build a cluster once we click on this butter uh, button then there will be a multi cloud cl reason clusters like uh, they we have to give a cloud provider reasons and then uh, we will select this as a aws that is amazon web service and clusters uh, cluster tire this will be automatically selected we have to give the cl cluster name i will give give the name as a cluster zero and once we give the name we have to click on the create cluster button here that is a pop-up window once we click on this the cluster will be created and uh, this is the main button where we have to connect and connect the cluster and we have to add the ip address the, uh, this is the cluster which i have created once i click on this connect button it will connect for uh, before connecting we have to add ip address to it that is uh, setting up a MangoDB cluster before using it set we have to add the IP addresses to it for just uh, go to the network access inside the security here I have already given the IP address I will remove it and give the new IP address and this will be the page which we, which you will see click on the add IP address and here you will uh, here you will see the access list entry I will click on add current IP address it will automatically select the IP address and then press on the confirm button it will take some time to add the IP address yeah I have already added the IP address but uh, I have already created the account for, for the new users it will take uh, it will ask for the password user id and the password that is like this the, it will ask for the user id which we can give and then the password which uh, we have to create give it and we have to allow access to our, our ip address and then creating a cluster user which i have already created generating a data database we have now we will see how to generate a database connection in the string that uh, we will see here Yeah, these three are the windows which uh, on which we have to connect to the main cluster and once we come here there is a select your drive version where we have to select driver as a python there is a driver as a python we have to select this and uh, click as a java because we are using java for the future coding and then we, uh, there is some uh, address which is a uh, which re we have to replace the password in this password as our uh, this password as our main password and the username will be there and then we have to click on the we have to copy this code and then paste it in here yeah and then uh, this is my uh, cluster go to the clusters yes inside the cluster we will see the visualization of our data that is uh, 
row column this the, there is a connection connections in out memory and then the data size that is in out the data size is 4.33 mb in uh, is used uh, in the 5.12 mb that is 1% we have to press on the connect button to connect the cluster there will be a database username and the connection string here we have to press on the done button it will connect and uh, you have to click on the yes yes this yeah this is the great option where we don't have a time or resources to manage the infrastructure needed so we have created a cluster and then we have created account and then created a cluster and uh, now we will see how we can add the compass how we can install and add the compass so for the compass purpose i have another link which i will paste in here that is inside the medium uh, medium web page this is the exploration how we can connect uh, compass these are the step by step process we have already inside in the first step we have to log in the mangodb atlas account which i have already did and the network access we have already selected the ip address and uh, get the ip address here and inside the fourth ip address we have already added the ip address and in the fifth step uh, we have to select a database deployment which we have already selected we have to click on the view monitoring which we have created and inside the database deployment view click on connect button once we click click on it uh, there will be this pop up window where there will be the username and the password we have to enter it and then we have to create database user then we will get this uh, get the access to this i have already i already have accounts so i have get i got this uh, instantly now we will see how how we can already how to establish uh, a connection we need to install the mangodb connect mangodb compass if we have already installed the mangodb compass we have to copy the connection string and paste it in the mangodb compass but we have to for, for uh, the new users we have to click on the compass and then we have to select our operating system like there are operating system like mac obs ubuntu red hat windows for windows system we have to select this uh, windows 64 bit msi and then we have to press on this uh, download compass button it will take it will automatically download yeah here the mango comp mango db compass has already installed i will see the go to search bar and then uh, go to the mango db compass here i have already logged into it but for the new users this is the first uh, uh, this is the first we will see we have to add a new connection we have to add a connection we have to copy this uh, copy this connection string and then paste it in here we have to copy it and here we have to replace this db button db password with uh, your original password and uh, here we have to remove this uh, greater than and less than symbol also and then inside this we have to add our uh, add our respective password after pasting the url inside this uh, button and then we have to click on the connect button the database connection is established which we will see here yeah here the connection of database once i click on this da connection database i have already created the uh, i have connected it here are my database uh, connection here are my mango db compass button where uh, i have uh, i have access to all these i have access to all of these okay and now okay then now we will see how we can launch the mango db cluster for that we have another link for the link inside the medium how we can launch a MangoDB cluster using Atlas. There is a step by step process here. Here there are the key benefits uh, of the MangoDB Atlas so which you will you will uh, you read yourself. And then why we can use a MangoDB Atlas that is for because uh, it is easy for uh, easy of setup and then a cross code compa compatibility, automatic scaling and then optimized for the performance. Here is the step by step process. 
these are all the steps we have already created now we have to create a new project on the atlas um, this is the first step we have already show, showed but i will once again show it click on the project and then the for a new project once you click on the create project there will be a key and a value pair where uh, you have to give a key and then the value uh, and then uh, there will be a uh, permissions then click on the create project and then we here we have to be, uh, build a cluster for that we have to create a click on the create button select this free version that is mo free and then choose the cloud provider and the reason and the, we have to select the pre preferred cl cloud provider that is aws google cloud or azure uh, for our project we are using the cloud and we have to select the reason and then in the next process we have to configure the user details that yeah. is we can add the username and the password to it and once uh, we add the username and then the click on the create user and uh, he, this is the uh, adding the current IP address which I have already shown and the connecting of our data which I have already shown and uh, now we will see uh, this is the database name and then the uh, now we will see how we can add a con database we have to create a database on the atlas button which for that we have to click on the start button and then we have to give a database name and the uh, create a collection name that is the people is our collection name and then click on the create button once we click on it this will be the window which we will see and inside this uh, we have to go to the shell that is uh, here we have a shell and uh, we have to in, uh, download the mangosh that is uh, firstly we have to select our operating system that is uh, i have all uh, as i have windows i will select windows and then we have to select here install from msc instead of uh, install from zip file and then play, uh, click on the download mangosh button then it will automatically download and then we have to copy this command and then paste it inside the mangosh button and uh, place it inside the command uh, command prompt here uh, in inside this uh, inside this uh, string we have to change the pass we have to change the this with our original we have to replace this with our uh, original password which we have already set in in the previous process and open the command line terminal and then go to this uh, mango to mangoes and uh, cop copy and paste uh, copy and paste this string by replacing the password and then we have to enter the password then uh, it will show like this this window will be shows like uh, what is the version we are using mango away and then what we what is the version of mangoes and uh, this will be the pop-up window that uh, shows uh, that we have already we have successfully created the mango uh, mango shell then we have to load the data we have to insert some data from the shell and check the atlas interface we have to copy this whole phase and then paste it inside the paste it here inside the mango db people that is uh, here here there will be the add data then here we will see that mango db inside the mango db there will be this uh, button and we have to monitor and for monitoring and scaling we can use here for monitoring we have to go to the matrix and then for go to the here there will be the index schema and then the aggregations all of these are there like this uh, we can uh, go to like uh, inside the connect once we click on the cluster and then click on the matrix button we will see all these uh, total charts that we can see in here inside the charts section it will take, uh, take some time and give the result as these charts only if your cluster is a heavy load or nearing the resource limit we can easily select it by updating the cluster tire and uh, yeah now we have to now we will conclude our session of uh, creating a mangodb account and uh, setting up the mangodb cluster for uh, and adding the new database 
here this is the database which we have created we have here we have seeing the id and the name and the age which we have copied from the launching section that is from here cpu uses from here we can uh, monitor and scale over what is the cpu uses and the what is the cpu uses and the disk io and the memory consumption and the database operations and for the conclusion uh, coming to the conclusion part mongodb atlas is a powerful and a fully managed service that simplifies the process of deploying and managing the mongodb clusters with the built-in tools for scaling monitoring security and backups atlas helps us to ensure that the database infrastructure is uh, both efficient and scalable by following this guide we can easily set up a mongodb cluster on the atlas and begin and begin developing our application with the confidence i will uh, copy and paste these uh, links inside the description box and once again thank you